And a very pleasant good morning to each and every one of you. We want to thank you so much for joining us right here on Radio Belize Mix. You're listening to the music on your number one web radio, BelizeMix.com. That's where we're transmitting on. Of course, on Facebook at this time, we're already live. We want to thank all the folks who have been uh, saying good morning to us. Let me just go through the list of folks who I see have logged on to Facebook so far to watch us. Because today we're going to be having your program, your favorite program called I Wake Up Like This. Some people say I wake up so. Some people just drop out of the bed like me. All right. We say good morning here to Ines and Carbaya. Very, very pleasant good morning to you. Hope that you're enjoying uh, your morning so far. Uh, Franco's Mangar, all the way there in uh, somewhere in, I think, uh, Palm Spring. Good morning. Uh, Claret Mar Marie B., we say good morning to you. We're also joined by the lovely Beverly Johnson. Yeah, she's not only watching, but she's here with us this morning. Good morning, Mrs. Johnson. Yeah, she don't eat already. I see the, the plate empty. All the scrambled egg, the beans, and the, the bacon gone. We have to catch one new pig. Sherwin Russell, we're saying top of the morning to you. Also to the rest of the folks who just joined, Maureen Smith. We're saying good morning to you too. Edwin Francis Colon, Colon all the way in Chicago. Good morning, Francis. All the best to you and the folks all the way down in South in PG, Punta Gorda from Belize. We say good morning to you. We say good morning to Indian. Yes, I believe you're celebrating your birthday, so you're going to be having some party tonight. We're going to be there. We're going to be having lots of fun. Beside me, you could see the lovely Miss Queen Lerner. Yeah, she's looking all brilliant. Looking all, you're glowing. I don't know why. What happened last night is not my business, but we're all right. <laughs> Let me put this mic on, Lerner, so we could get busy on, on, on the microphone. So how are you, Miss Lerner? We're, we're happening in Lerner's land. Stay Stay in, in Lerner's Lerner's land. land. You see, that's what I, I thought so too. I thought so too. Uh, uh, what I did this morning is I was reflecting on all the different uh, um, seasons that we've had, season one, season two. Right, right. And I was looking at uh, all the, uh, the folks who have come through. I uh, wake up like this and uh, I, I really have to compliment you for, for coming up and brainstorming this, this, this program that really honors all the Belizean artists. And not only Belizeans, but other folks and friends of Belizeans. But um, when I look at the list and we went into season three, I mm -hmm. said, my goodness, where you get these people from? I Did you just, do you, do you sleep at night, Lerner? No, I don't. You guys, I really don't. I go to bed like four or five o'clock in the morning. So, um, and wait, working on this group right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's right. I really uh never sleep. <laughs> <laughs> just for pulling out because everybody say get, get Carlos out. You know, I get Carlos out at time. All right. I say, well, I want to try because I like difficult things, right? So mm -hmm. uh, we, we thank you guys for coming out. <laughs> but let me just shoot some information for you quickly before we get into it because we're supposed to really start at 11. I want to uh, remind you folks who are watching that if you have some friends somewhere around the world and you want them to join us, you can join us on, on my page, Will Johnson. Uh, Lerna, you're going to be sharing this video right I, now I, on I your think, page. I think I shared it just now. Right, and, let, if, uh, and if, you, if you happen to be at work or driving and you can't watch, you could always go to... Uh, on your, on your smartphone on Radio Belize Mix app and click on Belize Mix or you could go to BelizeMix.com and then there you'll be able to um, click on we have several uh, Radio Belize Mix player make sure you click on Radio Belize Mix and you'll be able to hear wow. us it worked boy it worked oh good you see what I said it worked I, you I tell see you, not, I, not, not, you're not, never not, too no, old for land nothing like technology <laughs> <laughs> That's what my friends say, you know, my friends say technology. Technology. That's yes, right. <laughs> so, uh, with, with, so with now with technology, uh -huh. we, we, we're heard all over the world, especially to our folks back home in Belize, beautiful Belize. Right, we want right, to say right. good morning to the folks in the nation's capital, Bamapan, for those in San Pedro, Placenza, um, Burgess Key, those in the villages, Georgeville, Hattieville, Ladyville, all kind of ville. Hattieville. Yeah. Morning. The folks in the folks in Dan Griga, Griga. Dan, Dan Griga, we say good morning to you. Dan Creek. That's right, Corozal, Orange Walk. Orange Walk. That's right. All of them, Mango Creek. Mm -hmm. Everybody, every, every village. The folks in, in Piney, Punta Gorda, we say good morning to you guys too. Tell your friends to go and join us right now on Facebook or you can click on policemix.com. Mr. Laverne in the house, good All morning. Right. All right, so um, uh, we're about to get started. Monkey River. Monkey River, because one of the guys right here is from Monkey River. All right, so we're going to uh, run some music right now, and we got like two minutes before we, we hit it off the radio. Got that's it? right, that's right. All right. Yeah, yeah. 
This morning, we're joined by Mr. Patrick Barrow. Good morning, Mr. Patrick. I want to thank you for tuning in and to watching here on Facebook. Okay, now it's, uh, let's see, it's exactly a minute after 11 o'clock. That put us as a minute after 1 o'clock in Belize. That means the pe people in Belize, they don't eat their barbecue. They, they, they did not like work on Saturday, no? Yeah. They tell the plane, we don't want to work on Saturday. Owner have to get money for carrying out, go get barbecue. Or Q barbie. Anyone that they want to call it. Yeah, I know, that's right. <laughs> barbecue. All right. BBQ. All right. So, hey, folks, once again, we want to thank you for joining us. Welcome to I Wake Up Like This. Queen Lerna, it's all yours. Oh, my goodness. All right. All right. We are here. The energy is great right here in this spot here at Little Belize Restaurant. And uh, we are here with a group of, of, of handsome men. They got queued up to come on I Wake Up Like This this morning. So I want to ask each one of them right now, how you wake up this morning? Good, good, good. How you wake up? Bless. Feeling good. How you wake up? Bless. 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 Job blessings. So first of all, I want to thank Mr. Will Johnson once again for bringing this program and, and pushing me through the limits because he's putting me to the test, you guys. He puts me to the test. There's questions I ask him and he says, well, just do this and do that. I say, okay, I got it. So again... Um, I want to introduce our guest for today, and I really appreciate you guys taking the time out to come and visit us. Uh, we're awaiting one more guest um, speaker for today, which is going to be a hot topic. Um, hot topic, and that is uh, for Miss Carolyn McKenzie. Uh, whenever she gets in the house, we'll um, have her on the radio. And I need everybody to call in if you got some questions. This is the time for that. Ask all the questions about your passport, visa, and all that stuff. She will fill you guys in. And on the 11th, which I'll be doing a back-to-back -back for this month, and, and this is Black History Month, so we're doing a back-to-back. -back. We're going to have uh, our own Council General, uh, Mr. Roland York. He's going to be in the house to answer all your questions about the immigrations and, and the Trump administration and our new... Um, yes. <laughs> Whenever you hear that, uh, that name, everybody has to repeat it. But he'll be here on the 11th because I know there's a lot of questions that people have regarding v uh, visa and uh, stuff. So he will be able to, and yes, and green card. He'll be able to answer that on the 11th, but we'll send out all that information. So first of all, I want to introduce who we have in the house. Um, we have some members from the Music Makers. And the Music Makers is, uh, is a band that's been around for many years, um, but they was a little bit quiet um, for, for quite some time now. And that's the purpose of I Wake Up Like This show, that we can bring these artists back, um, back out so they can tell you that they are still active. Because these guys has been rehearsing. They, they didn't go no way, you know, they say. All over. Yeah, just what? We're all over playing uh, different parties, private parties, right? Weddings, and you know, really been around. But at the same time, like you said, waking us up is great. So give right. us that vibe, you know, that, that feeling to get back and wake back up in the game. In the, yes, and get this music, this spirit open. Right, you know? right. Because you know, once you got it, you don't want to give it up. You yes. know, you you just kind of pulled back a little bit, but. You know, that um, staying away from the game too long is not good for your health. The music, <laughs> the I music agree. is in your bone, yeah. right? So, um, it's, uh, Carlos is the owner and uh, founder of the music maker. And, and this is Carlos, um, his, his, laps, his, laps. his lap, his lap, 
I never really know his last name, tell you guys the truth. I like, for many years, from way back in the 80s, when they were all Iceberg and Carlos and all them, all I know is Carlos with the long dread, you guys. His dread is the longest, longest dread. Longest dread in the world. He needs to go, and that's incredible, I'm telling you. I don't know how his head hold up, but he is Mr. Carlos Hislock. Come on, guys, make some noise for Mr. Carlos. His lock is in the house. Yes, 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 yes. And also next to him here, we have the one and only. He goes back from way back in the days, and he's going to tell you all about that. But I noticed that he did play with uh, the one and only band here, uh, Belize, uh, Belize in Gold. And, um, and he got a hold of Carlos, and, and they made history. So he's going to tell you about it. I need you guys to welcome to I Wake Up Like This, Mr. George, Joe. Joseph Samuel Logan. Yes, Joe. <laughs> that is Joe, one Joe, one Joe. One Joe. Great guy, great a uh, great guy, right, right. So this is good for me to get to know, because I only knew Carlos, but I love the energy of our, uh, our new family here right now. Um, and Mr. Energy himself here. Oh. <laughs> oh, thanks to John <laughs> thanks energy to John. every day. Yes. And the music that wake you up. Right. And um, his name is um, Mr. Philip Taylor. And Mr. Philip Taylor also has been in the game, and he's going to tell you all about this. Music went a long way from child, from a young age. Yes. And um, once he recovered, he had this voice um, that he can sing. Lord, I, I know. You see this energy right here? I could, you could tell I could that he was breaking. Hey, it's, it's, it's coming from Carlos <laughs> and Joe. They are my mentor. <laughs> <laughs> you know. They keep me. They keep me going. And, you know, I'm from Corozal. Play with Cross Tongue Traffics, Kingsmen, with um, quite a few good musicians that mm. some are still in Corazon, but that's where I came from. Sugar, sugar Tongue, everybody call it, you know, a lot of sugar. Corazon or Corazon? Corazon Tongue. Corazon yeah. is Sugar City? Sugar, okay. sugar City. Yes. Sugar City. All right, Sugar yes. City. <laughs> so we're here, and, and uh, we want to do music, and we love music, uh, you know, and, and thanks for inviting us, by the way. Thank you. Thank well, you for having us on the program. Well, you're welcome. Welcome. You know, and once I spoke with you guys and I felt the energy um, that Carlos was uh, holding the, the train back just to tell you, to, you know, he was like, I don't want to go out there. I haven't, I haven't been doing that. I don't know nothing about the radio. I don't want to go on the radio. I said, boy, stop, stop your it. fool. <laughs> Carlos is a legend, you know, and, and Carlos is a peaceful, good musician, you know. And um, I'm I really happy to just play music with Carlos because he's a very smart talented musician and like like we said in the beginning we we've been around we keep rehearsing and mm -hmm. keep the music together mm -hmm. so that's what make it beautiful because when we have time we get together and we talk about music we make music and we continue to do music and that's why what we love and, and music is godly thing it's a blessing it's a you, you've got this talent that Jack give you and you have to work it you got to use it mm -hmm. if not you're going to lose it that's it's right. going to get, you know, like you said, wake up. Right, and, 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 up. and all the talents that you guys have, you know, you have to pass it down to, to the generation. Young after generation, generation you a know? lot of talents um, and young people. And that's something that we, we want to just get accomp uh, accomplished as far as people that's in the game that so long can just um, start mentoring younger kids that want to get into the music. So um, as far as I know, you are from, you, you, you originally from Corozal Town. Corozal Town, and, yeah. and, and how did you actually well, get Well, what in? happened in Corozal, I had a friend, well, not a friend, my cousin, Fedge, uh, mm -hmm. which is uh, uh, Fedge, uh, Fedrick Dixon, which is my cousin. Mm -hmm. He played in this band, and he was leaving, and he said, you know what? Why don't you go and try full my space? Mm -hmm. So I went on, and I had a little bit of talent. My dad do music, my uncles, everybody. So I figured I got some little bit of music inside of me. And then I went for this uh, additional, and next thing you know, I was the lead vocalist for the band. Oh, so, so you went, you, you, they, they auditioned you. They auditioned. You. <laughs> I had to go through. Yeah, in Belize, uh, honestly, I was auditioned with different musicians, which I respect a lot. Mm -hmm. And they said, hey, we'll, we'll, we'll pick you and to go on. And so I just went on and went on. It starts on the Kingsmen. Mm -hmm. And then it went to uh, cro um, Cross Tongue Traffics. Okay. Talented musicians that I played with. So I, I love it. And I know these guys love it too. We love music, right, Joe? 
Yes, right. we do. And, we and, do. and, and um, we're going we're gonna to go over here to uh, the originator of uh, the music maker, Mr. Carlos Hipslap. Well, um, hi, how are you? How are you, Carlos? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Actually. Long time no see, boy. I'm happy to be here. Um, and I'm glad by the invitation and everything, you know. Welcome, welcome. I can work with it, you know. And it's, to me, this is very good because it's called entertainment anyway, you know. But I, they are a long time, you know. I <laughs> 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 He's a veteran yeah, in the you know, game. Yeah, He's a I, veteran in the music. I the farm band, Panayla D-Boy, you know. So, so uh, at what age did you actually <laughs> start uh, doing music, Mr. Carlos? Man, I don't know about... Well, I see, I used, I used, yeah, about 11, 11, 12. Yeah, uh, 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 a lot of us start at a, a very tender age doing music. Mm -hmm. But at what point did you realize that this is, I have the niche to do, that this is what I want to do? Well, to tell you the truth, you know, I didn't, I didn't really know that I was going to be a musician. I was supposed to be something else, but not no musician or artist or whatever. So, so tell me how you yeah. came about that. Well, I made a Stan Creek one time, you know. <laughs> and I'm a little boy, and we got this guy named uh, Martin. You remember Martin? Yep. He play guitar. He in the practice was sung for a uh, band named Zeke's and his combo. Mm -hmm. You know? So he in the play the guitar, and he in the learn, learn the song. But by the time he learned the song, I don't learn the words because he listen to the same thing. <laughs> so I saw singing, and the man looked at me and said, But wait a minute. You could sing this song. Why not go sing this song for the man to make you hear how you sing? Mm -hmm. I said, boy, I can't do that. Because he said, man, stop it. Let's go. Well, I got with the man. Next thing I know, the man tell me, boy, I want to sing Friday night, you know. Nice. I said, what? Instant job. <laughs> <laughs> look, at, so, look at that. Anyway, I think that's, that's how everything got started. And I formed a band called The Octagons. The who? The Octagons in Stan Creek. Wow, you know? we come up with some yeah. names of bands, right? Af that, that's, <laughs> as, that's after we was, uh, got was singing with Zeke's, then mm -hmm. I sang with Magicians, you know. Me and Joe, we were in Magicians band in Stan Creek, you know. We even went to, I think, the, I think the Magicians went to the Battle of the Bands in Belize too and came in second, I think, if I'm not, mm -hmm. if I'm not, you know. But after that, after that we came out to America and I done formed several American bands, you know. And in fact, I formed so much American bands, you know, and most of the time we almost made it, but you know, as mm -hmm. life have it, everything come when the right time come, you know. Right, so right, right. Up to this day, I still they do it, you know. So that's where I'm with that right there. And, and as far as the music, what gender, what style of music do you do and what style do you prefer? Well, right now, I'm trying to inc incorporate, mm -hmm. like, the funk with the Caribbean sound, like, you know? So, like, I have a song, we have a song over there called uh, L.A. L.A., you know? No, right. That's, that's, like, kind of have an int. I think it kind of have a mixture of both, you know? Both. It's a high yeah, energy, yeah. high so, energy so, so, tempo. So, so, well, so, so let us do this. Why so don't, the, the why audience is going to get a taste of that right why, now. Why don't we listen to, to L.A. LA and, and see what it sounds like so to our friend, folks can, can get a, a little taste of what it's like. But I'm not sure which one it is because here it's showing track one. So I'm playing track one. And if it's not that, tell me if it's the other one. All right. Our L.A. LA. I love the title. Is, it, is, is it this one? All right, because it's, it's, it wasn't uh, labeled, that's why we're trying to figure it out right here. This is the LA, LA. All right, folks, listen up to LA, LA, here right here on Radio Belize Mix. Music maker in the house.
Giving you just a piece of LA, LA, and that one is sung by who? Joe Logan, that's me. Joe Logan, congratulations, Joe. Thank you, yeah, sir. Yeah, I, 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 I can put that on in my car mm -hmm. and just drive down the freeway, you know? Yeah, that's All right. nice vibe, nice vibe. Strolling down the boulevard. <laughs> All right. Strolling down the boulevard. That's right, and we have a whole lot more coming up, folks, so, so just, just stay tuned. Ooh. So, but more, Lerna, tell us more. Tell we us have more. A, we have a caller? We have a caller? No? All right, all right. Is um, um that's that's actually a, a nice beat right there. I, I love Thank it, you. grooving. I mean, I can see it. A nice summertime, strolling down the city and the streets of LA. You know, um, you guys coming out, coming out soon. You guys coming out soon. That was the music makers. So um, we're gonna hear a little bit. We're gonna come back to you, Carlos. But we're gonna hear a little bit from um, um so that the world can know exactly who you are so give me a little bit about yourself where you came from how you got to this music thing and and as of today you keep going and going. well first of all thank you for bringing us on the program you know it's beautiful out here um actually i was born in a small village by the name of monkey river in belize and um i always loved music music was always one of my thing, you know. Um, I've been doing churches and playing my guitar, walking around Stan Creek, playing my guitar and singing, doing all that stuff, you know. Play with previous bands in Belize. Uh, I play with um, Glenn Bird, may he rest in peace. And um, the Magicians. Mm -hmm. And then actually I came out to LA and um, hook up with Carlos. And everybody everything. hooking up with Carlos, well, you must have been uh, the hit around town back then, right? Actually, we were doing, Carlos and I, we've been doing music from we were young, very young in mm -hmm. our younger days. Yes. So it was one of them things. We always loved music. And um, we came out here and we've been trying to push our, our songs and stuff. I like to write, you know. Most of the songs that we're doing is between I write and also Philip does some writing also. Uh, call us, uh, does the musics and stuff, you know, so basically that's what's been going on. Mm -hmm. I'm just a country boy from Belize trying to make it in L.A., that's all. That's why I say, L.A., 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 yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, you, you're making it in L.A., boy, because I know it's not easy, so we have to make it. It doesn't matter how hard it gets. We got to keep on going. All right. So, um, go ahead. You got something else? And um, uh, I want to just shout our brother Adrian, the bass player. Actually, he's not here. He's a Yankee from America. Yeah. So I say Yankee. That's okay. Yeah. yeah but that's um, fine. That's fine. He, he's he's we pretty are cool. We're all one, and I love when we mix them. So, so Adrian, I just want you to know we're here for you too, my bro. All right. Right. So, um, it's just Adrian that we're missing from the band. Who's the drummer? Who's the, who's the drummer of the band? Carlos, can you answer that question, please? Well, you know, we have more than one drummer, actually. We have Frank and we have uh, uh, Marley. You know, he, both drummers, when one, one is, Marley is the one playing the drums on, these, on, on the sounds right here. Yeah, we have Frank Castillo who plays with us too sometime, you know? Okay. So, 
So, but basically, we have a lot of musicians around, you know, that come around and play, you know. Right, and, and I just have this lovely flyer um, of the music maker of some of the current members. Yeah. Um, the, some of the current members. This is the music maker, guys. And they said to tell you guys that they are back, and um, yes. they are back again. They never went anywhere. We, in, we, only we, not in the garage. <laughs> we, we just get stronger, that's all. <laughs> yeah, they never went anywhere, but they are back. And so, um, Carlos, I need you to, um, Carlos or um, Philip, you guys can answer. What is next for the music maker? What, what are you guys are? Well, right now, I know you guys are working on uh, your CD. Yeah, we, we're working on releasing a CD right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, as soon as we do that, then we will have more to go on, you know? Mm -hmm. But I think in this year, we're releasing that CD, you know, and see what happens from there. So, but overall, we're still playing music, you know, mm -hmm. with a little here, a little over there, you know. So we, we're still in there. We're, we're not going to know yet. <laughs> well, actually, we're still doing a lot of uh, studio work. Mm -hmm. Basically, um, some of the songs, them together, and, and see if we can get them out. You know, mm -hmm. That's one of the main things right now we're doing. We're still doing little shows and little parties and little things like that outside, you know, at random. So, but we're still here. Right, and, and, and you guys, you guys the, the, the new album coming out, will that include um, a combination of souls, reggae, yes, album? Yes, yes, yes. Actually, the, the, the CD that is coming out, actually I wrote all the songs on the CDs. I have um, reggae, mm -hmm. I have a, a, a soccer beat, like, you know, a soccer beat, actually. Mm -hmm. And um, a, a ballad. I wrote a song for my wife, a soft song. Mr. Lerner, if you, if you don't mind, what I want to do right now is um, have him hold the microphone. And I see you have that guitar. We want some guitar music right now. I want to uh, uh, get a feel of that guitar that you have right there. Yes. Can you do that for us, please? Do something with the guitar. All right. Listen up, folks. On a wake up like this. Honey, mm -hmm. I ain't got no money. I ain't got none, honey. I ain't got no money. Honey, I ain't got no money. I ain't got none, honey. I ain't got no money. Whenever I want to see you, Spending is a must, yes. If I don't have no money, I end up taking the bus. Hey, hey, honey, I ain't got no money. I ain't got none, honey. I ain't got no money, honey. I ain't got no money. I ain't got none, honey. I ain't got no money. Oh my goodness. Right. Now look at that right there. I honey, like, I ain't I got like. no money, but if you still well, like honey. me, wait, wait, make a check my wallet. If you still <laughs> like me, then you still wanna come with me that a little Belize and uh, you wanna pay the bill. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. I appreciate it. Really good job. One of the songs on the CD that we're trying. Really? Yeah, yes. That, that is lovely. Well, that thank you. That is lovely. I love it. I, um, I, we got to get some more acoust acoustics. Uh, get the whole yes, we got to do some more of that. I love that. We got to go back to Carlos again. Well, well, you know what? You have to start seeing up that plastic bottle, you know? <laughs> yeah, man. We'll see up that plastic bottle. We're recycled because we have to catch up bus. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. That, is, that is really awesome. So, um... Oh, after that one, I don't know what else to say, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's another song that I want to hear, though, that was given to me. Um, I, uh, this, uh, what's Little, little Bird, Little Bird. Little Bird. Little Bird is a song that me and Carlos and Joey came up with because it's a gentle, 
nice song, no, nothing bad, no bad words. And kids could listen, mom could listen at the barbecue. Keep it clean, keep it Just clean. Just lovely music. And the reason why we said Little Bird is because we come from Belize. You know, we're Central America where we see all these live things and we love the, the nature mm -hmm. and stuff like that, you know. So we made Little Bird, which is, if you listen to the song, you're going to like it. All right, well, let's... By me and Carlos so and Joe and everybody. We work together as a group. Everybody throw in. Yes, and we did right. it, uh, some recording was done at Fuller, Fuller, Bob morning. Nelson, Fuller yeah. Studio, and then we took it to another company that. So, so this is. So, so uh, how, how is the voice right now? How is the voice right now? My voice. My voice. My voice. My voice is pretty good. All right, the music there. You got, what is one? What's the name of this one? Little Bird. Little Bird. Little Bird. Don't fly okay. away, Belize. Uh, 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 the folks are commenting here on the Facebook saying, "Ooh, I love this one." Mr. Ken Moody, all the way there in New York, saying top of the morning to you. Uh, High Tension Dawson, we're saying good morning to you. Hoping you're enjoying your morning. Uh, Erolyn Belisle, we're saying good morning to you. Marie, good uh, guy who just joined us. We're hoping you're having a good day today. Farwell Smith Jr., Ramon Jones uh, in Chicago, we're saying top of the morning to you. Uh, Erolyn Belisle, we're hoping you're enjoying yourself. And to Ter Hams, uh, Jerisha Greenwich, uh, also to Miss uh, Red Rose. I don't know where you are, but we're hoping you enjoy. Marie Guy from Mars Cabin and Gardens restaurant. Marie. Marie, good morning. We're hoping you're enjoying you? yourself. And to all the folks who just joined us at Radio Belize Mix, it's good to have you with us. You're listening to a week. Learner, right here on your number one web radio. Learner. Oh my goodness, you guys, those are some nice songs right there. Yeah, thank you. World, you see what we're looking forward to? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Don't what fly away, little bird. Don't fly away. Is music is godly thing. You wake up, thank God, God give you some strength to get up and enjoy mm -hmm. the day, enjoy the music, enjoy your family. You know, this is what we live for, you know. Just get up and get out there and enjoy life. Mm -hmm. A lot of people can't get out. You know, people are sick. But at the same time, we want to... Help the youths, you know, there's a lot of talented musicians out there all over, you know, come together as musicians. Let's do things that is positive for us, Belizean and bands. If you're born with some talent, you want to use it, you know, and, and help the youths and, and do positive stuff. So if you're a musician, get up, 
Get out there, wake you know. Up. Wake up and do your thing. You have talent. Jack gives you some talent. That's not everybody can play a guitar like Joe. Not everybody can do some vocal, keyboard, or singing. But if you got the talent, it's because Jack gave you that talent. You were born with that. Nobody can take that away from you. So use it positive. Help. Do something. You know, come out there. Musicians all over. You know, I urge you to come over, talk, and, and get together, and let's do positive things. A lot of people need help out there. We can help Belize. We can help all over the world. People need help. So let's get together as musicians. Play music. Use the talent that Jack give us. Jack give us some talent. Right. Use it. And and that is the direction that we're trying to get. Yes. So I, I like his plead right now, which is, you guys, we got to take it very seriously. We need to unite, unite. and we need to come together. Yes. Um, even if you guys put a session together, um, then say a free class yes. here for the youths, you know. Yeah. We, we need to do more stuff like that. For because young people. Young we, people. Um, in our Belizean community, we don't have a community center where people are teaching the youths. Uh, I know um, in the Garifuna community, they have classes which they're teaching the language and they're teaching the drum lessons and all that stuff. Yes. But I'm not sure where we are with that you know, or where, what, what we're doing. We're wasting, we're wasting a lot of talents because the young talent that is coming up, they have nowhere to go and, and, and learn more. So we as musicians, let's come out, let's do concerts, let's do things, invite all the new musicians and young people and do positive stuff. Mm -hmm. Use your talent because, you know, in Belize, wherever you are, you know, get on this program, let's get together, meet with me, Joe, Carlos, we're willing to help. Let's do some concerts, let's... People need help out there. You, know, right. you want to help well, the we, Red we, Cross. We're going to take them up on that. You want to help the that. homeless. You want right. to help the veterans. I have a quick That's question a, for you guys. As a matter of fact, one love, you be know? sure that when you're, you're, you're talking, talk to the camera. Carlos. They're watching you and they're seeing they're you. They're watching you. We love you. Uh, no, I have a question for, for you guys. Um, do you guys have a website that they can go to and get more information on you guys or how they can contact you the, uh, with number, a telephone number? How can folks get this information to reach you guys? Well, we had a website and we decided to make a new website. Like Joe said, we have a new CD coming out. We're in the studio for one year, last year, just mm -hmm. constant working, working, and working. What's, that, what's, that, music. what's that telephone? The contact. The, the, the contact, would, you have to go to Carlos, uh, or my bass player who is not here, that is one of our contact is Adrian. Mm -hmm. Adrian. I don't have his number right in my mind, I have it, but we could also get that number and put it out there for you. He's a heart surgeon, remember, but he's a, also a bass player. Excellent. So he Excellent. can't make it today because <laughs> he's in the hospital doing a heart surgery right now, I'm sure, wow. doing some work, mm -hmm. helping somebody out there that need a new heart. So that's what we do as musicians. We just go out there and do good things, you know. So if you're a band, you're musicians in Belize or whatever, we're going to put our information out there, contact us. Let's do some concert in Belize. Let's do some concert. Yeah, yeah that, well, we, 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 we can Come on, guys, let's do they, some. They, they are listening and they are. Um, use the talent, you know. We have a lot of talent. Well. Shout out for Bull, if Bull out there, Frank, shout out for Frank, Frank Castillo, uh, mm -hmm. Jarman Linares. Oh, Jarman. Jarman, okay. you guys might mm -hmm. know Jarman, he's of not course. here today, but great guy too, you know, Arturo Mori, Paul Ferguson, guys in Belize, Nayo, all these guys. We have a lot of talent that we could work together mm -hmm. and make it better and help Belize youths that need help. They right. have talent in Belize. Egbert Gill, one of my cousins too. Great artist in Belize doing his thing, you know. Let me just mention here yes. quickly uh, the number that they can read, Mr. Carlos. It's 323-820-8286. Uh, Let me say that slowly for you. Get your pen and paper. 323, or oh, get your, your, your eye marker. 323-820-8286. En español, 323-820-8286. Yeah, we speak Spanish too. Ay, uh, uh, vamos. Belize got talent, you guys. Azúcar. So there you have it. Um, we have here this morning the music maker. Music makers in the house. The music maker, Mr. Philip, Mr. Joseph, and Mr. Carlos. And um, is there anything else that you would like, Mr. Carlos, as the owner of the band? Do you do you want the audience to know anything well, else about? I appreciate you inviting us over here, and uh, hopefully we we'll, we we are able to continue doing what we do. You know, and uh, eventually... Oh, we, 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 we got plans for you, Mr. <laughs> okay. We got plans for you. We want to, we're, uh, we're working on getting an entire band to be able to play and we go live with you guys. And we're going we, live upstairs. Uh, oh, that's right. We, we would be glad right. to do that. Miss Lerner, have some big we, plans. We'd be glad. We'd be glad. So, yeah. No problem. So right yeah. here, we, right now we're yeah. squeezing this little space right here, but we're going to move it up top. Okay. And um, you guys going to have the whole stage. We're okay. just going to do it. 
Just like live. the real deal, Holy Field, um, live band, um, going sh live stream and everything else. So, we, 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 well, we can do yes. it. We, we, we don't mind. The, we I, don't, I, I, I got to see you guys in action. I really do. Oh, yeah. And I do appreciate the nice music that you guys are bringing out uh, to the world. We have, um, we, we keep have it one clean. More song. We have one more song. We you have one more song? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to play this one right now. Move your body. 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 Len Jones on the guitar. That's right. I was just going to ask you. And you're hearing it live right here on a wake up like this, you guys. Haven't even been out yet. New CD coming out soon. Believe? They're back. On track. You know exactly what to do. What is that? Spread them legs way up on. Shake that booty with all your heart. Yes, move your body. Move your body. Move your body. Come on. Move your body. Come on. Mueve tu cuerpo. Yeah. Mueve tu cuerpo. Yeah. Come on, babe. Mueve tu cuerpo. Move your body, babe. Mueve tu cuerpo. Bombay launch pretty soon. Saturday right, morning, right. LA, sunshine. Yes. Beautiful day, Belize. Wake up. And don't forget tonight, come move your body tonight. I have a fundraiser for the Red Carpet Affair right here at Bombay Lodge tonight. So 
some nice coconut water and move your body. Move your body. San Pedro, Belize, Corozal, Icacas, Time Creek, PG, Punta Gorda, Monkey River. I had to build. And Orange Walk. Wherever you are, get up, move right your body. Hurry. Enjoy. Just say, give love. One love, man. <laughs> One love. The music maker. The music makers is always here. Always going to be here. Yeah, All, right, All right, there you have it, folks. Hey, there you have Glenn. it. The music call, move your body, move it to, 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 to cuerpo. You guys ready? Y, y, y más tarde usted puede mover tu, tu cintura. Tu cuerpo, mueve tu cuerpo. <laughs> mueve tu cuerpo All es right. moviendo tu body. Hablamos español también. We speak Spanish too. Oh, yes. Yes, we Belize Caribbean. We speak it. Spanish. Reggaeton, reggae, we could mix it up. And in your group, you guys do sing in, in, yes, in Spanish also. We do in Spanish, whatever. Versatile, versatile. We, we, we do everything. Awesome, awesome. I can't wait for the music maker to be at Bombay Lounge. Um, all right, guys, is there any final word would you like to send out there to the people? Um, as you guys noticed and you guys heard, the music makers is back. On track. Yes, we want to say thanks to you and your great professional group support right here for this radio. Nice radio Belize, Belize mix. mix. Yes, give some support out there, guys. Little they're, Belize restaurant. They're trying Little Belize restaurants right here too. You know, everybody's trying to work this out and have some love and peace and enjoy life. Yes, we just so try to bring you know, unity. Try to bring unity and spread the love. And spread the love with music. And if you have your talent and you're out there, we urge you to get up and. Come out and let's talk and let's do things. Let's do music. Let's help the youths of Belize. All let's right. help the youths here. People all over are having problems, you know, and we could help as musicians. Like I said, Jack give you some talent. You Use didn't it. Get this Spread off it. the street. You were born with this talent. So if you're a musician, come out. If you're a drummer, bass player, singer, this is your blessings from Jack. Jack give you this. So you got to come out and... Spread it, spread the word, and just right, let's live together right. and, and, and one love. Thank you so much, Philip. Let me have George, um, I mean, Joseph. I just, yes, uh, Joseph. Say another, I don't know where George comes from. I just from. first want to thank you guys. It's beautiful in here. I can smell the food. I see those <laughs> ladies over there eating. The kitchen, uh, the yeah. kitchen is burning hot. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. They, but had, I they had their hands full uh, right here at Little Belize Restaurant. <laughs> yes, yes. I want to say hello Hi, to uh, Belize. I love you guys. I miss you guys. I'm still here. God bless you guys out there. Stay focused. Enjoy life. And always thank the man above. All right? That's Just right. remember, thank the man above, and you're going to have a good life. Love you. Call us. Well, Mrs. Lerner, thank you very much for inviting us here. And uh, we do appreciate it. And hopefully everything will go forward, you know. So thank you very much. All right, you guys. Um, again. Thank you. Um, I would like to reintroduce the music makers. Thank you. Guys, you guys. Thank you. When I step out, Joe Ryan step in. I used to work from dusk till dawn. When I step out, Joe Ryan step in. Never leave your house after six. Cause Joe Ryan will rub up your pussy cat very good with fix. Never leave your house after six. Cause Joe Ryan will rub up your pussy cat very good with fix. Blow the thing, boy. Ah ha. Ah ha. Mash it up, mash it up. Oh gosh. Ah ha. Tell the girl, close the back door. But when me hear Joe Grind calling for home, I used to leave through the front door. When I step out, Joe Grind step in. Never leave your house after six. Cause Joe Grind will rub up your pussy, get very good with fix. Come, never leave your house after six. Cause Joe Grind will rub up your pussy cat very good with fix. Bring the thing now. Ah ha. Ah ha. Just in case you just joined us, folks, you have been uh, watching I Wake Up Like This. We have some more guests, so just hang on in there um, with us. Uh, keep on enjoying the music right here on Radio Belize Mix, your number one web radio. Uh, coming up shortly, we're going to continue with I Wake Up Like This. 
You're listening to Radio Belize Mix. You're watching on Facebook. Coming up, we got uh, the Vice Council of uh, Belize to Los Angeles, Miss Carolyn uh, McKenzie. Uh, in the meantime, though, we've got a quite a number of folks who have joined us on Facebook. We want to say good morning to them. Uh, let me just go through the list of folks who are watching right now um, who have been enjoying the show. Ramona Jones Wade in uh, Chicago, once again, good morning to you. Also to Errol and um, Belial, we say good morning. Sandra Sabaranes, good morning to you. We're wishing you all the best. Uh, um, Sherwin uh, Russell, top of the morning to you. Hoping you're enjoying. Also to Maria Diaz Castillo, we say hello to you. Uh, also to Alphon White, what's up? 
enjoying the vibes. Hey, Bernard Gal Galvez, who I was listening to Radio Blaze Mix, we thank you for joining us this morning. We also want to say good morning here to Sonia Buller Davis. She, say, she, uh, she says hello, Belizeans, uh, very ta talented Belizeans. That's right, these guys who uh, we featured earlier, very talented musicians. Uh, also to Beverly Ramdas, we're saying good morning to you. Uh, also to, let's see who, Luis Dale Reyes, who joined us. Luis, good morning to you. Uh, Enid Halak, regular listener of Radio Belize Mix and uh, viewing on Facebook. Also to Risden Martinez, that's right. We say good morning to you, Risden. Vinny, 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 regular listener of Radio Belize Mix. Hey, Vinny Martinez, we say top of the morning to you there in Washington, D.C. That's right. And in just a few, we have the lady, Lorna, that's right. Of a wake up like this, who's going to be hosting again the second uh, segment of our uh, broadcast right here on a wake up like this? We're hoping that you enjoy your morning. We're going to be with you in just a second. You get all of the best on Radio Belize Mix. Once again, welcome to a wake up like this. Queen Lerna. Well, after that first group, I'm exhausted. <laughs> We're having some fun up in here, right, Real? Yep. All right, all right. And she made it today. She made it here in the house, and we are blessed. Because I was so hoping that she is able to make it out this morning, and she did. And I was also blessed when, when I asked her, and she said, yes, I don't mind. And she also know about the show, so that was a good thing. Good morning, Miss Lerner. Good morning. Good morning, good morning nice Ms. to be here this morning. Miss Carolyn, yes, good, good morning. Good morning, Belize. And we are back here again on another episode of I Wake Up Like, like this. this. And um, we are with the lovely and the very talented professional uh, Miss Mackenzie from the consulate of Belize office, you guys. And uh, I'm putting it out there, world. Um, I'm going to give you a number. If you guys have any questions for Miss Mackenzie, and quit asking everybody else out there, and um, you're getting all the wrong answer, this is your time to really get your question into her about um, anything um, passport, visa and all that stuff to believe. Um, her t uh, let me just give you a little brief um, on her. She, she is the vice counsel um, um, Belize uh, to Los Angeles for the government uh, Belize, and she's gonna tell you a little bit more about herself. Can you just introduce yourself to the world, please? Okay, well, yes. Um, I started working um, at the consulate of Belize in 1993. Mm -hmm and um, worked my way up to vice council. Um, and I left briefly 2006 to 2008. I was asked to return uh, back to the office as the vice council and been working there to present day. Um, I was working at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs before in Belize before I came to the US, migrated to the US and the Ministry of Agriculture um, and then I came here in 1990, migrated here to 19, in 1990 and started working in 1993 at the consulate. All right, there you have it. She is no stranger to taking care of your business in that field of the government <laughs> of Belize. So um, I know a lot of people have um, major issues and major questions. Um, I'm going to start with a passport um, as far as Give me the whole rundown on the process of obtaining a passport and renewing, you know, renewing a passport. Okay. Renewing your passport, you would need the expired passport, of course. Um, it has to be in good condition. <clears throat> you would need your original birth certificate, a valid ID, uh, money order for $100 and two passport size photos. If you are married, you would need to bring your marriage certificate. If you're divorced, you need to bring your divorce certificate as well. And the, one, of the one of the 
forms on the application needs to be notarized, the 3A form, as well as one of the photos need to be notarized. Is the, the photo need to be, even if, even if you're not married, it's just still have to be notarized just to reapply for it? Yes, any renewal of an application, uh, Belize passport, yeah, you, has, you, you have to uh, notarize one of the forms, which is a 3A form, and mm -hmm. behind one of the photos. Oh, okay. Uh, you guys got that? Because I didn't, I didn't really know that it had to be notarized yes. in order to obtain a renewal. And, and I'm sorry. Go ahead. And then for the lost passport, that's a, uh, that's a little bit more complicated. You would have to have your original birth certificate. Um, and there's several other forms that needs to be completed along with your ID and a money order for $145. And that the $145 includes a police report that we have to uh, request and, and, and submit an application through uh, the police department in Belize. And then when, once that is returned, then your application is submitted. Hmm. So you would need your original birth certificate, two pictures, a valid ID. You would need to complete all those forms and a money order for $145. And what is the turnaround um, on that? For the lost passport, it's mm -hmm. taken about four months. What? Yes. <laughs> for the renewal what? of a Belize passport, it's taken about three months. What? Yes. That's a long, I mean, and, and, and what do you have to do or, uh, to expedite it? Is there any um, such thing as pay extra? Express. <laughs> um, well, all passports are expressed to Belize. We, inse we send them Federal Express. That's the reason why we charge. I mean, I'm talking about the turnaround extra. But time. the turnaround part doesn't have anything to do with our office. It has to do with immigration in Belize. That's the process in time. So Because they, te they tell us that we have a slot. Because they do passports for the entire country of Belize. They do passports for all the missions in the United States. It, throughout the world, all mm -hmm. the missions that process applications for passports, mm -hmm. we have to send those applications to them, right? And they process. So it's just a lot that they have to deal with. So you are saying, I mean, is is it a difference if you go to Belize oh, and apply? Definitely. Is it faster? It's faster. It's you can you can pay for a three day rush. You can the the, the normal processing time in Belize is twenty one business days. Okay. Or you can pay for a three day rush or a seven day rush, whatever. It is. But I know you can get it. Okay, so you're just, it's just when you're out of state. Yes, right. And, and that time, that three or four months' time is what they're giving us. Sometimes it, Sometimes it comes back within a month. It depends quickly. on their, their workload. Their workload. Yeah, but mm -hmm. that's what we tell people because then that's what usually is the, the time frame about three months. Right. And, 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 and another question, are we going to stay along this line? Also, um, if you applying for a passport, mm -hmm. basically, you know how in Belize your birth certificate just sometimes don't even have your pan name, pan it? Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. You only have your money. Yes. And then we the go by for we pal last name. That's right. That's and a big so issue. So what is, yeah, can you, can you brief us on that? That is one of the biggest issues that we have to deal with when an applicant comes in and they've been using their father's name all their life. Right. And then they come in with a birth certificate that doesn't have their father's name on there. Right. And usually that, that usually happens when the mother, the parent were not married at the time of birth. So that's, that was the law in Belize um, in those days that the father cannot be added on to the right. birth certificate. So in those cases, they would have to complete a deed poll form, which actually changes your name. It would say um, Lerna Smith. Her name change. Is uh -huh. now Lerna. Lerna how? Yeah. <laughs> and, and that would be attached to your birth certificate to show that your name has been changed from Lerna Smith to Lerna Hall. Okay, and that is a and that's a fee also, right? The well, we assist with the the application. Mm -hmm. It's a twenty dollar fee just to assist with the application. It's it's a very simple but complicated application. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then once that is completed, then we give them the the other documents that they would need to submit to Belize. And I think it's twenty something dollars, Belize dollars in okay. Belize, along with the shipping. So we we. 
pay that fee mm -hmm. in order to get the name that you've been using, get your password in the name that in you've been using. In your father's name. If right. your father is alive now, then you don't have to do that. There's a form. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a form that you can complete if your father is alive. Mm -hmm. He can complete the form and have it notarized saying that he is your father, mm -hmm. um, along with maybe your baptismal certificate showing his name as your father or school records, and then he can, his name can be added on there oh. if he is alive. Yes. If he is alive. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's a process um, to get that change. Also, when you're applying for, um, when you renew your passport, is that renewal now in the curriculum t a passport that they, you know, that they're giving out now? Or is that something that you have to pay extra for? Or how, does, how is that process? No, all passports are um, now the CARICOM passport. If you renew a passport, you'll get a CARICOM passport. Because that's the passports that all countries that made the agreement, um, so, well, the pa the the agreement was between some CARICOM countries that if they um, use the CARICOM logo, mm -hmm. all those countries can access other, the other countries that were part of the agreement mm -hmm. without a visa. So if your passport, okay. it, it still has the Belize logo and it says CARICOM on top. Mm -hmm. So if you go to, for example, Suriname, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, St. Kitts, Nevis, Barbados, Barbuda, in a dose for Jamaica, okay. you do not need a visa. Mm. You just need your passport. That was my next question. What was the CARICOM countries? I, I mean, you know, the CARICOM oh, there's, places. There's, there's several. A, there's, yeah, several there's several that we could uh, visit. I, I don't want to be jumping the guns right here, but we have somebody asking already, um, what, are the uh, what are the states in America that Belizeans can actually go to get their passport? Renewed. In the U.S. In the U.S. here. Um, it's Los Angeles, uh -huh. Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. Chicago, mm -hmm. um, Miami. Okay. And I'm missing one. So we have Washington, we have Miami, Washington, Chica Chicago, Miami, Chicago, Los Chicago, Angeles. Uh, Miami. Miami. Okay. Okay. So there you go, folks. Remember, you New can York. go to these I'm places. Sorry. New, New York. York. New York. We have a, consulate, right. a new consulate in New York. Great. Oh, okay. Go great. That's good news for the folks in New York. Yes. Right. So, um, yeah, that's what I got to get, uh, the CARICOM passport. So um, just briefly, you guys, renewing your passport is automatically in that CARICOM. Yes. Um, you automatically get a CARICOM passport that you can travel to all the CARICOM countries without a green card. A visa. A visa, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and it's without valid for 10 years, yes. And it's about, yeah, that's a good question. It's valid for 10 years. Mm -hmm. So if you have any more questions on the passport renewal, uh, just call the consulate office. And uh, I, I need you to give them exactly where the consulate office is and that telephone number. Certainly. We're located at 4801 Wilshire Boulevard. Suite 250, the second floor, Los Angeles, California, 90010. And our telephone number is 323-634-9900. Okay, great. And also, you guys have, um, you, you guys issued uh, IDs. Uh, you have some type of ID that, that you, you issued. What is that um, all about? Can you explain that to me, please? We... Um, formatted, uh, a con it's called a counselor ID. And the reason we did that was because a lot of our Belizean nationals didn't have um, any form of ID, any other form of ID. So we decided to do the counselor ID just to assist our Belizean nationals that, for example, if they wanted to renew a Belize passport, they needed some form of ID current form of ID mm. and they sh could not produce that. So we assist we, we, we're assisting them now by issuing a consular ID um, so that, and it's accepted at uh, most of the banks here, it's accepted um, to renew your passport. It's accepted at most of the US uh, county hospitals, mm -hmm. uh, which is mm. very good. Right. And so um, the consular ID to apply for that, you would need either your expired passport or some form of ID, that, even if it's expired, mm -hmm. and um, your birth certificate, 
and two passport photos and fifty dollars. Okay, that 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 you have answered, if not most part of exactly what I wanted to ask you, which is uh, people have been asking me. Uh, um, let, I just want to ask you now: What are some of the things that you turn that you have to turn, but people have to be turned back for because they don't have, in general, when they go to the office? Um, mostly. And I'm saying this so when they go to the office, they don't miss it. That's right. Mostly the name change. Right. They don't have their father's name on their uh, birth certificate. Um, other things would be they don't bring in the proper documents as far as if they're married they are divorced. They didn't bring the divorce decree. They only brought the marriage certificate. Mm -hmm. um, and... Um, I, I and think they don't have mostly, the money. <laughs> well, yeah, they usually do have the money. All right. <laughs> but, um, All right. We have a question from someone from uh, from Miss Laverne. With, with the, the passport and, and not having um, oops. Right. with the passport and not having the birth certificate, mm -hmm. what are some of the things that you have to do? And not having your father's name on the birth certificate. I know a lot of people back in the days they weren't yes. married mm -hmm. and father wasn't placed on the birth certificate mm -hmm. as a father. Now, initially, a passport was issued under whatever name you were registered as. Mm -hmm. um, and in cases, a lot of cases, it's the father's name. Mm -hmm. Now, you have a passport that's already issued in that name. You go to renew that passport. Why should you come up against having to change your name or go trying to figure out how to get your father's name on your um, passport, you know, you know, to get a renewal passport renewal. in that name you've been known as all your life. Mm -hmm. um, the the reason why the well now when you renew a passport, immigration Belize immigration is asking for your birth certificate, and the reason is because all documents that you produce when you renew a passport now is scanned into their system. And that's what they want to do. They want to have every applicant's pass, birth certificate, marriage certificate, whatever it is, scanned in the system. So when you renew your passport again, that can be compared to what's in their system to eliminate fraud. So all applicants now, even if you have a passport, still needs to produce a birth certificate, marriage certificate, all those documents. Somebody just so asked other uh, document like a, a birth, not birth certificate, but uh, a baptism paper with father name on it? That's not acceptable. All no. right. It's a no. So but there is no, no other form acceptable but that birth certificate yes. they want to see. That's right. Okay. So, so did I answer your question or? It, it did. However, there's still a lot of questions based on that. Mm -hmm. um, based on what you're saying, now your father is dead. Okay. okay, how do you prove, you're saying you don't take a baptismal certificate, mm -hmm. how do you prove that this is me, that's my father, and I need my father's name on my renewal passport? Okay, um, if your father is dead, your father's name will not be added onto your birth certificate. It cannot. He's, he cannot um, attest to the fact that he's your father, he's dead. So the next step would be, for you to do a deed poll to change your name to your father's name. You would have to complete a deed poll form saying that you're changing your name from Laverne La La so, Smith to Laverne Hall. And what's the, procedures for, what's the procedure for that, and can that be done in the United States? That can be done at our office, yes. And the procedure would be you call the office, make an appointment to see me, <laughs> and, um, and then we complete. There's two forms that need to be completed, two Two of the same form. They need two originals, mm -hmm. and um, you bring in your birth certificate, something to show that you've been using your father's name, your ID, or whatever documents you have, and and it's processed the same day. Okay, so you don't need. And to then find that document then needs to be sent to Belize for for processing, which takes like okay. Three weeks. And the form that you fill out does it need to be notarized? Or no, we do everything. We you do, do everything we do at the, the office and every yes. And that's done in one day. In one day. Good to know. Thank you. Wow, wow. Hello, Rita. Rita May Banner. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. She's a loyal. She's in every radio station, supporting <laughs> every radio station. So we thank you, my dear family. All right.
So um, as far as that is concerned, um, I'm sure the audience um, love to hear what you just said about the passport. Now, we, we, we're going to take another. We were talking about IDs and the different things, why they issue uh, some IDs out of the office there, the consulate ID. Um, another question do we have. Will was asking me a question that um, we was going to have Mr. York address more deeply into, but he can, you could touch a little surface of, you know, on the surface of that. He can still ask the question so that we can get a little comfort from the audience out there. Yeah, um, we, we all know that social media is flooded at this time with, mm -hmm. with the situation, uh, well, the current situation in the United States. Um, folks are paranoid about um, police being affected by them uh, having a green card and not able to use their green card. Um, okay. is, is, do you have any, anything to that? We have the, yeah, um, as far as the um, green card issue, that we had gotten um, an email from Homeland Security um, saying that, yes, that is the case, that if you are a green card holder and you leave the United States or you're out of the United States, the U.S. the U.S. immigration has all rights to stop you and question you on a one-to-one -one basis. And if they feel that you are a terrorist or if you are involved with any terrorist uh, activities or involved with anybody that is under their terrorist uh, watch, they have all rights to deport you. I don't think our Belizeans... Um, come under that uh, category, but yeah, you are, they can stop you and question you and release you, which has happened bef um, in the past few weeks. So yeah, just be, just be mindful of that. Right, so there's no need for people to be partnered because even prior to this, um, <laughs> if you appeared as a sus sus suspicious, that's uh, right. they would have called you yeah. and moved you on site any which way that's right. and, and search you and ask you questions. Yes, so it's there's just no general... need to be paranoid. Right. If, if okay. you're not involved in any terrorist activities, you're okay. All right. That, I, I appreciate that. And we know um, you said Mr. York is going to be on next week and next give us week. more details. Yes. Okay, so no problem. He's going to be on next week. Um, I, I, I had someone online that's just asked the same question that you just answered mm -hmm. about can a birth cert, can a um, baptism, paper. Baptis, baptism paper be used instead? The, the, only, the only way um, you would need a baptism paper to apply for any document as far as a, a birth certificate would be if your father is still alive. Mm -hmm. and you wanted him to add his name onto your birth certificate, then they would need the baptism certificate to show proof that he was on your baptism certificate and your mom was on there. So it shows that he, you know, from birth, he you well, that's, acknowledged That's a good piece as, of documents as, that yeah, should be accepted. Your father, right. yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, and one more thing regarding uh -huh. the U.S. immigration, the rumor out there about... Um, only 100 visas will be issued for the year for Belize. <laughs> yeah, that's false. That's yes. not true. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you for clearing that up, folks. Don't be worried. Right? <laughs> and if you have any questions, just con contact the, the Belize uh, Council and here in Los Angeles and Ms. Carolyn. She's a nice person. She will answer your questions. <laughs> she Got will it? answer your All questions. Right. Um, we're going we're gonna to come back. We're going to play a little music so we can warm up the leg a little bit. <laughs> and uh, we're going to come back to Ms. McKenzie here. Thank you. This house where I'm hey. No gossip in this house. Shut up. Uh. Watch it. Shut up. Stays in this house. Gossip with nobody. 
saying good morning here to Ms. Trudel Bate, who is in the house. Yeah, I made emphasis on the title because, you know, we, that we were familiar with that bus. Yeah, the Bate bus. <laughs> Ken Moody, once again, good morning to you. C. Jump, who just joined us here on Facebook. Good morning. Uh, Rosemary Mangar, we're saying good morning to you and the family. Uh, we're hoping that you're going to continue to enjoy uh, the great music right here. And uh, the, the interesting topic that we're having, uh, somebody did send a request just now, but it's a birthday request. Greetings to, let's see, Malcolm Galvez and Belize that are bringing your birthday today. All the best to you. Music there of the great Michael Wagner. No gossip. What happened in the house stays in the house. Not in this case because <laughs> right now we're very. We in, don't we, want we, to stay no, in we, this house. We at we, we, we we interfering, but we want answers to all the questions, and we 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 really really want our Belizeans to feel that he is traveling to and from Belize. Good morning. Good afternoon, Vinny Martinez. Welcome, welcome. Um, we're gonna throw in some announcements real quick. Guys, if you're looking for something to do tonight, I'm having a fundraiser event for the International Red Carpet right here tonight at Bombay Lounge, Little Belize. Super Bowl, old school dance, you guys. Come on out, $15 donation. We have DJ Knight Rider that's going to be here, DJ No Side, DJ Marco, and Selector Easy B will be in the Quite building. A, good, a good lineup right there. Be in the building. So come on out, support tonight right here, Bombay Lunch, started, starting at uh, 8, um, 8 p.m., 8.30 p.m. to 2 a.m. See you here at Bombay Lunch. Come on out, you guys. And don't forget, it's tax season at Proby's Tax and Accounting. Get your taxes done. Right off of Crenshaw and 39, Proby Tax and Accounting. We are here at Little Belize Live. Hi, you. You're leaving me? My uncle's in the house. Hi, Uncle Irvin. All the way. Hey. Want to say hi to Hattieville? Hi, all you people in Hattieville. How are you doing? This is Irvin, as you all know, the guy with the red van. Yeah? yeah? Are you all looking at me? <laughs> yeah, all you good folks in Hattieville. How you doing? This is Irvin. Be seeing you all soon. Still enjoying the good old summer in Los Angeles, California. No, he's staying here with me. He ain't going nowhere. All right, he just finished his breakfast and now he is out. See you later, out. All right, people, again, don't forget tonight, Bombay Lunch and Super Bowl Saturday. Super Bowl Saturday, we're gonna start early. All right, we're gonna get back. We're gonna get back to, hey, my, my, my designer in the house. <laughs> I'm not gonna call no name, but good morning, good afternoon. 
elegant flair in the house. Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> elegant flair dance company, you guys. We're, we're still here. We're still here just taking a little break, you know, but the girls are ready to get back in action. We're going to get back with some more questions for Miss McKenzie here um, in the house. Just send in your questions and we will get it to her. We'll get it to her. All right, Miss McKenzie. Thank you again. I can't thank you enough to clear up some of these questions that people, you know, people call us, people call the consortium, and people have been asking questions and different things. So we just want them to know that there is a, a place, the consulate office, where all the answers, where they can get all the answers. Can you just tell them the business hours over there? Um, I'm, a um, lot of them don't know. We open at 9 a.m. and we close 4.45. We close for lunch from 1 to 2. That's Monday to four, Friday. On Fridays, we close a little earlier, half an hour earlier. You notice they got the Belize hours? Yes. They close office for lunch? Well, we're working for the government <laughs> of Belize, so. <laughs> I know why that sometimes I'm calling, I'm, I'm calling and I'm fussing. <laughs> Why is no one answering the phone, you know? I'm not used to, like, we, we don't clothes. We, we don't have enough staff to switch and one take over and the next one go to lunch. I know. It's I only know. a staff of three. So we have our secretary, Mrs. Trisha Logan, myself. Hi, and Trisha. And the consul general, Mr. York. So Hi. we can't send Mr. York out there to answer the phone. <laughs> send on, girl. Send on. I if I look by your crazy, like, who are you talking to? But anyhow, we have this other, this is a, another, questions that, uh, another question that um, is asked so often. Emergency travel documents. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us that, proceed, that process? Because I know emergencies comes up, we, we, yes. we, we don't know yes. when, and we just have to go very quickly. That's right. So can you give the people that information for me? Okay, when it comes to an emergency and a Belizean calls the office, we try to facilitate in any way possible, especially if it's for a death or something, anything that comes up as an emergency. So um, it, most of the time it's because their passport is expired, they would need an emergency travel document or they do not have a passport at all. Mm -hmm. So they would need to bring in either the expired passport or their birth certificate and uh, their travel itinerary, their flight, their information on their ticket, um, two passport pictures, and the cost for that is $25. Um, and it's issued right there and then. Within right there and then. 10, 15 minutes. Once yeah. you have all that documents together, you guys, um, they won't waste any time in getting you out of here. No, and so. we always advise them, as soon as you get to Belize, go and see about your passport, because you will need that to come back. Right. Yeah. right, right, right. And um, uh, also, um, what are, uh, other stuff that is um, taken care of uh, through you um, out of the consulate office? Um, well, we do, beside all of those, we, we used to issue visas to, to non-Belizeans wanting to visit Belize, but because the requirement is that uh, well, the requirement would be that you have to have a valid re-entry visa for, for the United States or um, a green card. Now, the rule in Belize or, or the, the requirements in Belize is that if you have those documents, you don't need a visa. You can just travel to Belize with your valid passport and your green card or your multiple re-entry visa. So we do not issue visas anymore in Los Angeles because they met the requirements already once they have those documents. If you do not have those documents, you do not meet the requirement to get a visa or to enter Belize. So we don't issue visas anymore at that office. Um, we do a lot of deportation, unfortunately. Hey. Oh. Uh, but um, yeah, so mm -hmm. that's, that's you know trying to get them home as soon as they come off their sentence. Um, it's a little bit testy sometimes because they want to they wanna get out of there, you know, so. We get a lot of phone calls about that and concerns about that, but if that's taken care of, once they can show proof of Belizean citizenship too, we issue a travel document for them to, to leave. I, I have a question. What about if, if somebody uh, happened to be here for mm -hmm. extended period of time and mm -hmm. um, uh, they run into problems, of course, you know, uh, uh, it is not um, 
uh, a street paved with gold here in the United States. Yeah. Uh, folks run into problems and uh, probably instead of ending up being homeless, uh, have they ever approached uh, the council and saying, listen, I want to go home? And do you, is there any assistance in the program to get our folks back home who didn't make it here? We've had several of those um, requests. Unfortunately, we do not have the budget to buy a ticket and send nobody back home. We, don't, we just do not have the budget for that. And that's the reason why we depend on a lot of the nonprofit organizations to assist. And we would maybe ask them to call one or two to see if they can assist them. Do, with you, do you have any names of those nonprofit organizations that people could reach out to in this case? We haven't gotten an updated list of nonprofit organizations, but I can tell you off, off like Consortium, um, the nursing, the nurses association, they are very active. Consortium is very active. Um, C, um, CBA, they're very active. The, the group for uh, Joan Greenwood, they're very active. So we would refer them to people that, the, uh, organizations that we know are active in the community and can maybe assist. Okay, I, I really appreciate that you say that because um, uh, while it, it looks all good here in the United States for a lot of folks, we do have some parts that that's not that is not that good for for folks. Some folks who have yeah. made, not made it here, and yes. there is always that negative side or that 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 part whereby yes. it just didn't happen. What so it's we, good to know that. Yeah. What we also try to do is once they come in the office, we would ask them if they have family members in Belize that we can contact for them to see if they can assist also. Right. It makes a lot you of know. sense. Right. So if we so you can get the help here, maybe you get can get the help from yeah. home. I'm All pretty right. sure. You don't want your family to suffer out here, if, you know, if you can Absolutely. send them home. Right, I'm glad you asked that question, because that was one of my next questions about, um, you know, helping folks that um, is in need of help. Mm -hmm. um, one, of my, one of my topics that I was wanted to bring up was, you know, the homeless. Homelessness you know, is getting out of control. Yes. Um, and I'm sure sometime I'm passing by and I'm wondering if um, our Belize and folks is out there, you know? And I'm looking like, okay, is he Belizean or not? Um, have Have you guys got anything about that per se through the consulate office, um, as far as counts of homeless folks, uh, Belizeans? Is that is that an? Uh, because one one night I was here, and they actually have people that goes out in the community mm -hmm. and do a number count, mm -hmm. okay. you know, um, and 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 the young lady was quite happy. And I'm just like, really? Is that what you guys do? And they have to go out after dark to mm -hmm. check mm -hmm. how much people is in this one area as homeless to get a count. Okay. Um, well, as far as I know, no, we, we are not really involved with that. If mm -hmm. there is a committee or an organization that is doing that, we would very much like to know the count and more or less where they're situated because, of course, we Belizeans, we have sort of soft heart, you know. We mm. we don't want to see another <laughs> Belizean out there sleeping on the in of the pool and something like that. There's no. something that something that we all can it's, do it's personally it's to help somebody, you know. Right. I know. Um, so but I, I, I just okay. Go I'm ahead. Sorry. I have a question. I just wanted to touch on this before I forget. Um, as far as um, your loved ones, deceased your loved ones. Um. You know, a lot of us, we live in Los Angeles, and there's a lot of crimes. There's a lot of stuff happening every day. Mm -hmm. And there's an organization that you can call. I did not bring the information, but I just wanted us, the, uh, the Belizeans out there, to know that if your family member died in a tragic accident or anything tragic, gunshot, all that, there's an organization that can assist in burial. You can apply, and they can assist with that. So just bear that in mind also, because... Things happen, you yeah, know? It should, certainly. Which, which yeah. leads to exactly what I was going to ask next, uh, whereby um, um, what about uh, emergency visas for, for people who uh, maybe s some relative is, is dying or something like that? What, what's, the, what's the procedure for that? Emergency visas to come here? I mean, to, to return, to, or they don't need that because then, well, but, but, uh, oh, but then again, the situation is that if you have a green card, you can go home, but if you don't have a green card and you're not here, I haven't had your papers, then I guess that's, that's the deal right there. You just can't go, right? You can either go and you can go, 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 but you can't go back. Can't go back. <laughs> yes, like the song said, no. <laughs> you can yes. go, but you must. You no, can't. This kind of almost you can't. Question here. We got a problem question. of them coming back. Mm -hmm. 
We got a question for you. All right, Sunshine Novello is saying, I have a question. Uh, my passport was lost. What do I do in that process? In, okay. that case, in that case. Yeah, the lost passport, you would need your original birth certificate and um, a valid ID. Mm -hmm. Two passport pictures, a money order for $145. There's several forms that needs to be completed and notarized. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, uh, I also want to ask about um, the, the, the situation whereby um, with, with children, um, to, to, to come here to the United States, or I mean to, to return to the United States, what if they, they, they don't have documents? What do they do in that case? If they want to come to the United States? No, no, if they want to from here. To it, leave? Right. Children born here or Belizean nationals? No, I, I, I've known situation where people have their children who, who are here, but they, they don't have any documents at all. And they, uh, oh, okay. Well, you know, there's the, the, the program. Is it a DAPA or DACA? It's either DAPA or DACA program. If your child is going to school and he's beyond, the, they're beyond the age of what, 30, they can apply for um, work permit and they can get their social security and an ID card. Oh, oh really? That the, program what? might still be in effect. I, I, I didn't check on it because right. I didn't know you guys were going to ask about it. <laughs> but yeah, so I've I've known of several uh, students that got their work permit, ID card, and social security through that program, I think it's, it costs less than $500. So for kids, it's a little, they have uh, more of an opportunity than adults to um, to at least get a work permit. Um, so they, they cannot travel with that document, but they can uh, definitely work and uh, get a social security, pay taxes. Okay, I have another question, but I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to answer this question. Um, folks who are returning home um, fully, probably with no intention of probably coming okay. back here, and they have a whole lot of stuff to take. Um, it's costly to, to think about how much, I mean, to think about how much money you'll pay for the things you're taking. Is there yes. a waiver for, for that, or what, what's, what's, what's going on with that part? There is. Um, you, would have to, you will have to show proof that you've been living here for a certain period of time, One. which would be your taxes or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, and then you get a break from all your household belongings, as long as it's used, mm -hmm. not new, mm -hmm. and you get a break from your um, vehicle, one vehicle to take down. Get a but break meaning that you, you guys provide a document for them to show when they get there? We do not. Um, it's all done through Belize. You have to send in your request and all that through Belize. But they can call the um, office and get all the information that they would need for that. And uh, you, it can be done online too. I think the forms are online. Mm -hmm. And they can also read about it at um, the Belize Source Board website, on their website. They have detailed information on repatriation back to Belize mm -hmm. and for even foreigners wanting to go back, back to Belize and live. All that information is on there. Very, very helpful information is on there. Great. Ms. Lerner. All right, all right. So how are we looking? in you guys call in today call in right now we have a few more minutes with miss mckenzie before she she got a boogie on out of here <laughs> so if you got your questions please join in and um she will be glad to answer it again will what is your number if they want to call in 310-259-7076 we have a couple minutes to try to get your question in as early as possible that's 310-259-7076 right all right so um uh, anything else, um, Ms. McKenzie, that you have um, that you can tell the folks? Um, I think that covers almost everything that I brought. Um, so we, we, we basically went through the process of, of renewing your passport. Um, the, if your birth certificate says um, uh, just your mother's name and not your father's name, what you need to do. There's forms you need to fill out, so you better call. Um, and when you get a renewal, um, you get the CARICOM passport right, right away. So if you want to travel to uh, CARICOM countries like Jamaica mm -hmm. and all of them, um, you'll have that. Um, you have to fill out that form again, like I said, get your um, two IDs, and one of them have to be notarized, okay? So there's procedures that you have to do, but there's the office of the consulate that you need to call to get those information. As far as 
the immigration issues. Mr. Roland York will be here on the 11th that we can get more detailed information as far as what's going on with traveling and all that stuff. Okay? So and also the Belize Immigration, their, their website is ins.gov.bz. And on that website, it shows you exactly how to complete application forms for passports, whatever documents they, 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 um, we do regarding Belize immigration. You go on that website, it's very informative, and it shows you exactly how to complete application forms. So um, go on there, visit, and uh, surf a little and see what you can, what, what, you know, all the forms are on there, too, for you to download. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Okay, and there's one more, and there's one more thing I just want you to clear up because a, a lot of folks still don't understand that what what the function of the consulate office is for. Okay, we are here um, working for the government of Belize, and we represent the government of Belize. Um, we're here to assist the Belizean community here in the United States to make sure they're comfortable um, getting their passports, any documents that is required, any information that is required. If we can point them out to, if we cannot assist, at least get a telephone number for them to call or a person for them to contact for them to do their business or whatever information they, they need, or whatever problems they have, at least say, well, okay, contact the U.S. immigration. or If we cannot help them, at least we can guide them to where, or the person that can assist them. As far as non-Belizeans, we're there to make sure they know about Belize, give them information about Belize, and make sure they have the proper documents so that when they arrive in Belize, they're not turned back. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Ms. Lerner, I have been there. I have been up at, the, <laughs> at the consulate, and uh, uh, I needed to renew my passport, and these people were wonderful. They were really nice. Oh, thank to you. To the point I almost Are you saying that I, because no, you're no, right no, here? No, 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 no. I almost <laughs> wanted to stay there. You know, when Mr. Yak chased me, you know, you don't get a passport, go, go now. All right. right. But, but you guys do a, a wonderful job. I want to thank right. you guys publicly thank, for, thank for you excellent very much. job. And I just, wanted, yeah, I just wanted, you know, wanted you to tell, you have a question? Come on. Uh, sure, come, come on. Sure, come on, ask, ask your question right here. Feel free to ask a question. Right, go my ahead. My question is, um, are you just answering a uh, question pertaining to Belize or with the whole immigration status? Um, depends on the question. Mr. York is going to be here next Saturday. Oh, on the okay. 11th to, to deal with the U.S. immigration issues. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. just a while ago, I heard you refer about, um, about people moving back home. Uh -huh. You know, if you're going to stay long or if you want to go and come, what are the procedure concerning okay. that? Um, for Belizeans moving back to Belize, it all depends on if they're a U.S. citizen uh -huh. or if they're a green card holder. Because, of course, you know green card if holder can't US stay out citizen. of the U.S. for a, a long time. period of time. But if they're a U.S. citizen... Yeah, you can go and come whenever you want, um, and it should not be a problem. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you're a U.S. citizen, and then you're a, a Belizean by birth, birth so you yes. have dual citizenship. So if you have that dual uh, yeah, citizenship, you, yeah. have, you don't have no problem. You don't have a problem. Once you're going in as a Belizean national with your Belize passport, okay. then you, they, don't, they can't say you only could stay for one month. Oh, and okay. if they do... That's the that's yeah, the thing if, I want to know. That one month okay. thing. How so if you're going into Belize with a U.S. passport, they give you 30 days to stay in the country. country. Okay. If you want to stay beyond the 30 days, you have to go in before that 30 days expires into the Belize immigration office or any immigration office in the country of Belize because they have an immigration office oh, okay. in in all the districts and apply for an extension of stay. Oh, okay then. Okay, and th and there's a fee that goes with that. I'd like to say a show. I'd like to give a shout out to the Belize. Sure, go right ahead. <laughs> I'd like to give a shout out to my family and friends back home. Don't worry, you'll see my face again, but I just have to take off some medical issue. Okay, no, 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 no. Hold, hold on. Wait, wait, watch your neck come right now and say it, say it because they'll watch you. Okay, I just want to say hi to my family and friends back home. You guys going to see me again this year. I just got to take some personal and medical me. Uh, <laughs> All right. Thing. There you, know, you I go. Love, I love coming home. <laughs> All right. Well, like how everybody did the show. So let me I, shout I out love. to my family back um, in Belmopan. The Gillette family. Yes. That's my brothers and sisters, nieces and nephews. Right. This is your time, the Gillette. 
Right, so the, uh, there you have it, you guys. Um, that's another uh, question that was cleared up. If you, are, if you have dual citizenship and you go to Belize, how long can you stay? Um, if you go in, and this is another question that I had for Ms. McKenzie, because people, you know, I see people go in, oh, I'm gonna go in as Belizean, I'm gonna mm -hmm. come out as American, mm -hmm. or I go in as American, I come out as Belizean, because of the tax thing. Can you, I mean, is there such thing, is it cheaper taxes? What's, is the, what's the secret, okay, what's yeah. the secret? You're talking, <laughs> you're talking about departure tax, right? The, yeah, departure tax, okay. right? Um, for departure tax, most most of the airlines now are adding that on to your ticket. Right, I see that. Yeah, so, but if they don't, um, coming back out, that's when they, they do the departure tax. If you are a Belizean national, you can show uh, your tax. You can go to the uh, income tax department and they give you a permit, which you won't have to pay for the departure tax. Most people don't even do it and they, they, they don't mm -hmm. pay. But if you're a U.S. citizen, there is a departure tax of, um, I think it's thirty-two fifty or Something. U.S. dollars. Right. Yeah. And, and I think another. If it's not included in your pass in your ticket. Another thing is the division. You know, when you go in, in Belize and over, yeah, and a citizen, you know, yeah. American citizen yeah. over, yeah, you know, so. That's why I say I want to. I want. I want both passports. So you can make a choice. <laughs> which line? Right, which line? I want. And and what is the secret about going into the Belize line versus the um, tourist line? Oh. <laughs> the, the the Belize line is is because you um. Of course, the U.S. line they will give you uh, thirty days to stay. If you're going into Belize, if you're only going for like a two weeks, that's fine. A two weeks. But mm -hmm. if you're going longer, I would advise that you use your Belize passport to go into Belize mm -hmm. and use your U.S. passport to come back out. Yeah, but is that not showing a no stamp in? You know, it's like how 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 are they noticing well, that someone had stamp in because <laughs> there's one stamp in one passport and there's another stamp in the other passport. Yes. I mean. Well, Belize That's recognized crazy, right? dual citizenship, so we, the U.S. does not. Mm -hmm. So coming in, coming in, going into Belize using your Belize passport and coming back, well, of course, you have to use the U.S. to come back because you don't have a Me, visa. Right. You're a U.S. citizen. And I don't think, they don't have a problem with showing that you, when you left and when, uh, when you're coming back in. It's just to show proof that you can return, which would be your U U.S. Uh, I mean, do they ask that question? No, Are you I saying well, that sometimes they ask that question? I've, I've Where did you go? It, right, and and that is the reason why I'm asking this question now. Is there, um, is there something wrong with doing that because no. you might be questioned? No, there isn't. No. Okay. As long as you know where you went and all that stuff, that's fine. You guys, you can use your dual, um, dual passport. And as we're on the dual citizenship um, issue. We also do nationality by descent at the office, which is if you are a Belizean parent, or if you have a Belizean parent, either your father or your mother, and you were born here in the US, you can apply for your Belizean citizenship and apply for a Belize passport. And we offer that service at the office as well. Oh, that's news to me. So did you guys get that one? Uh, uh, did everybody get that one? Can you repeat that again? Oh, it, the, um, to apply for dual citizenship, mm -hmm. um, if you are a Belizean parent, um, either mother or father, you're, if you're, any parent is Belizean and you were born here in the U.S., you can apply for dual citizenship at the office. Um, we're Belizean nationality and your Belize passport. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we have a whole lot of different things going on because some people, some people get caught up into... As, you know, the 15 days, sometimes they only give them 15 days mm -hmm. instead of 30 days mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So I, I, I think it's, uh, I think Bridget is just depending on who you get that day going, going into the country. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the, the amount of days is usually 30 days, right? It's thir usually 30 days. Because yes. she says she only, they only gave us like, gave her 15 days. And I, I do advise a lot, um, that you, Apply for um, dual citizenship for your kids because if they want to acquire land in Belize, if they want to get a social security card in Belize, 
if they want to purchase a home in Belize or do any transactions in Belize, mm -hmm. being a Belizean helps. It, you know, and they have and they can get a social security card, which is really needed if you're doing any medical, uh, going to the doctors or right. going to do any bank business in Belize. You oh, need a yeah. social security card. So they have to be a Belizean national in order to apply for a social security card. It doesn't hurt to be a dual citizen, you know. Right, just fill out that paperwork, guys. Um, oh, there's some really interesting questions and information that's given out today, you guys. So I hope everybody is tuned in to this episode. Um, get your questions in. Um, we have another question. I, I already seen that. That's, that's one of the person just saying that if, you, if you're going to get your visa, pay your money, get it, and you don't get it, why don't you get back your, visa, your money? <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it's just the way how it is. It's how the way it is. It, that yeah, you, that's you, you're US, lucky. Yeah. U.S. Embassy requirement. That Well, part of the requirement. Right, for you to pay to, you to apply. To go. And then I think, I'm not certain, but I think if oh. they give you, you can go back two more times oh. and reapply within a With that year same money? Time. Yeah. All right. See? See, there you go. I, I'm not. You get. You might. Work for them, but don't, I think that's that's what it is. Don't quote her to that. Yeah, don't. <laughs> okay, but check out that information. Your money may not be dead in one try. Yeah. So you may be able to get some other things out of that money, but whatever. you just have to check with the visa, with the with the US folks down embassy, there yeah. with the U.S. Em em embassy mm. down there. Um, Thank you, Rose Banner, for joining in. Uh, thank you, Ms. Joan Greenwood. Um, Indira. I'm Indira. Bridget. With that question, try again and just go check, Mama, and see if there's um, another, you know, that you could do that once or twice. Um, and um, any other questions you have for Ms. McKenzie, guys? I got five more minutes with her, five more minutes with her. Um, we want to get all these questions out. Um, One of the things that I want to ask real quickly, Ms. Uh, McKenzie, is that uh, you guys, in, well, uh, folks can, cannot go to the office because you guys also celebrate in, uh, U.S. holiday. I just want to remind folks, don't go there uh, on a holiday uh, because you're not going to get that service. Why are they calling me old Sir Will? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Everybody, everybody no, was I, like, why is it that you get Belize and U.S. holidays? Like, that's the way it is. We, <laughs> we have to um, respect Belize and we have to respect the U.S., you know, they're a hosting country. So we have to respect their holidays as well, which I don't have a problem with. <laughs> torn between, wait, torn between through, um, two love, right? Belize and the U.S. <laughs> So um, it's hard work. So it's, it's beyond her control, guys. Yeah. It's beyond her control. Whenever the office is closed, just check Belize. It yeah. might be a holiday. Belize holiday. That's right. <laughs> it might be a holiday in Pr Belize. Pretty much that's what I was trying to say, all right? Yes. <laughs> we want you not to, to be aware of the holidays, yes. uh, both in the United States and here uh, and in Belize, when the office is open or closed. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. So um, we got time for a few more questions and answers. <laughs> That's not true. They still tell you, no, your money is dead. Indira, um, Indira, well, say, it, Indira says, you know. one try. Really uh, it's one try. It's one try. But she thinks that it's, it's not right if you do, do not get what you apply for. I personally feel the same way. Right. But that's not something that we can regulate. That's their, mm. that's their rules, you know? Right. We, we, you know, we, we, but we all feel the same way. Mm. Um, but like she said, it's, it's, it's out of her control. Um, but um, again, uh, we got many answers. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up. Anybody have any other questions? Please get it in right now. Um, you have any, any last word for the people? Um, I just want to say thank you to Little Belize. Thank you. Um, I'm going to eat some breakfast right now, by the way. Yeah. I'm hungry um, too, girl. Thanks to Will and his radio station. Thank you, Miss Lerna, for inviting us over. We always want to serve as best as we can. Call the consulate if you have any further information on any of the issues that we discussed today. And thank you, Belize, for listening. Right, and, and, and just tune in. Again, they are located on Wilshire, right? Yes, we are at 4801 Wilshire Boulevard, Suite 250, Los Angeles, California, 90010. All right, and don't forget tonight, my fundraiser, Super Bowl, Saturday night. Come enjoy some nice music and have a glass of wine. Relax, get some of the stress off. 
So come on out, you guys. Come on out. I would love to have you. I'd love to see you guys. Once again, we are here with Belizean <laughs> Radio Belize Mix, Mr. Will Jensen, and her, his lovely wife over there, very supportive. And um, we are on another episode of A Wake Up Like This. Mr. Baptist is in the house, DJ Bat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Listen, woman, I don't like bacchanals, I don't like whining, I know pretty girl, I saw Donna wrote it, she could not sell to me, now she want me to come, why money glory? Thank all the folks who have joined us and who have been watching here on Facebook. But thank you so much. Natalie Crawford, top of the morning to you. To Indira Walker, once again, we thank you for listening in. Uh, watching Divine uh, uh, Chapel, top of the morning to you, sir. Also to, uh, let's see, Bridget. Good morning, uh, Rose Banner, uh, Rosalie Parham, Joan Greenwood, Sarah Lopez. Good morning, Bernard Galvez. And the Sunshine Novello, all the best to you there in uh, Oakland. Donna Montero, uh, Montenegro, that is. Good morning to you. Uh, Irvin Smith, we're saying top of the morning to you. See John, Ken Moody, Mr. Ken Moody, uh, Leti Leticia Godoy. Uh, that's right. Also to uh, Rosie May Mangar, we say good morning to you. Also to John Morris Palacio, Vinny Martinez, Luis Dale Reyes, Patrick Barrow, um, uh, Beverly Ramdas. We thank you so much. You guys have yourself a wonderful day today. 